Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to set up brother DCP T310 printer. When you buy a new printer, you will get two cables and four bottles of ink to refill the tank. One is the power card and another one is the USB cable. You will find a power port at the left back of the printer. Just insert the power cord into the printer and plug the other end into the power source. It will automatically power on. Then you have to connect the USB cable. So you, you will see a small holder at the left side of the printer. Simply lift it up to open the front cover and you have to insert the USB cable here you will see an USB port written here and make sure while inserting the cable the rounded corner facing upward then make sure the cable is fit along with the space properly Then close the front cover and open the refilling tank cover. You, you can see the small holder at the right side of the printer. Just pull it out to open and pull up the cap. Refill the tank with the respective colors. Then close the cover. Once all are in place, you have to do head cleaning because the head cleaning helps the printer prepares for ink flow and ensures good printing. So press the menu button and press OK near maintenance and press the down arrow button to select cleaning option and click OK. Then press down arrow button. Press down arrow button and press OK near all and it is enough to uh, do head cleaning for normal itself so select OK then press start the process will take few minutes give some time for the process to complete once the process is completed you have to connect your cable to the laptop Once the printer is set up, you have to download Brother DCP T310 driver. So go to Google and search Brother DCP T310 driver download and click on the official website that is listed in the search box. So you have to double click on it to open or you can also open in new tab. So this is the official website. Select your OS and select your OS version. And click OK. And double click on full driver and software package. And click on agree to the ULA and download button. So wait for the file to download. Download process completed. You can see the downloader file in the downloads folder. So double click on it and the file will start to decompress and wait for the process to complete. So the decompressing process will create a new folder called install. Then double click on the folder to open it then you will see a start.exe file at the end make sure the printer is connected to your pc or laptop 
then right click on the file and click run as administrator to avoid any permission is issues click yes to confirm the installation so the brother machine installation setup wizard will open so first select language and click next then mark the checkbox to the license agreement and click next so the system will start to search for the machine i mean the printer which is connected to your pc wait for the process to complete it will take few minutes since the printer is already connected to your pc click next if no machine found error occurs you have to reconnect the usb to your pc so remove the usb and reconnect it and click refresh button so the printer will be recognized and select you can see the printer model that is dcp t310 and the port is usb 001 and it is the printer serial number then click next select standard since it is the recommended option by brother and click next the installation process will begin and wait for the process to complete it will take few minutes click install later and click yes to confirm the action then click next then click next and finish so the driver has been installed successfully okay. after the driver installation you have to add printer to your pc go to the search bar and type printer and you will see the option printer and scanner double click on it to open the system settings for printers and scanners you will see the printer already added to your pc let's see the working status of the printer open any document so make sure the document is plain and press control and p button together and select brother printer from the list and press ok to check the printer status so if the printer is connected to your pc then you will get the printout successfully